This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at voltaic cells. Here we have a diagram of a voltaic cell, which can also be called a galvanic cell. A voltaic cell is made of two half cells. On the left, we have a zinc half cell. On the right, we have a copper half cell. The zinc half cell is composed of a zinc electrode in a solution of zinc 2 plus ions. The copper half cell is composed of a copper electrode in a solution of copper 2 plus ions. The zinc electrode is the negative electrode or the anode. The copper electrode is the positive electrode or the cathode. The anode and cathode are connected by wires and we also have a voltmeter in the circuit. The two half cells are connected by a salt bridge. In this case, it's KNO3, which is potassium nitrate. And finally, we have the electron flow, which is indicated by the red arrows. And as you can see, the electrons are flowing from the anode to the cathode. Next, we'll have a look at each half cell in more detail. Let's start by looking at the negative electrode, which is the anode. At the anode, the zinc atoms lose electrons to form zinc 2 plus ions, which is oxidation. Next, the electrons flow in the wire to the copper half cell, and the mass of the zinc electrode decreases as zinc atoms are oxidized to form zinc 2 plus ions. Next, we look at the reaction that occurs at the positive electrode or the cathode. So the electrons flow to the copper electrode from the zinc electrode. Next, the copper ions in solution gain electrons. In this equation, we have a copper 2 plus ion gaining electrons to form a copper atom, which is reduction. The mass of the copper electrode increases as copper ions are reduced to form copper atoms. In the previous slide, we saw that oxidation occurs at the anode, which is the negative electrode, and reduction occurs at the cathode, which is the positive electrode. Using the activity series, we can determine which metal will be oxidized and which metal will be reduced. The metal higher in the activity series is oxidized and the metal lower in the activity series is reduced. The electron flow will be from the metal higher in the activity series, which is zinc, to the metal lower in the activity series, which is copper. So once again, here we have the equations for the oxidation of zinc and the reduction of the copper 2 plus ions. The two half equations can be combined to form the net ionic equation, which you can see here. Next, we look at the salt bridge. The salt bridge allows ions to move between the two half cells, thereby completing the circuit. Negative ions or anions move from the cathode to the anode. Positive ions or cations move from the anode to the cathode. So here you can see the negative nitrate ion moving to the anode, and here you can see the positive potassium ion moving to the cathode. So let's end with a summary. In a voltaic cell, oxidation occurs at the anode, which is the negative electrode, and reduction occurs at the cathode, which is the positive electrode. The electrons flow from the anode to cathode in the wires, producing an electric current. Cations, which are positive ions, move in the salt bridge from the anode to the cathode. Anions, which are negative ions, move in the salt bridge from the cathode to anode. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.